Jolie just has this definitive passion about everything that she does. She is a very hard worker and I have never had to be the one to prod her to be a hard worker. She just, it comes naturally for her. Jolie had a passion and a fire for this role that is really untrainable and that I personally was looking for in someone to play Ariel. Um, what initially drew me to the role of Ariel is that we're very similar in the sense that obviously from first sight, we both have red hair, but also she's just a very bubbly, go-getter, 16-year-old teenager. And at the time I was 16, so it was, it was like kind of just perfect. I was really excited that I got the role. I was like over the moon and just so excited. But deep down, I was terrified that I wasn't going to be able to do it. And then when we started getting together to work on things, that's kind of when we noticed something's drastically wrong. I don't even know if they were doing blocking yet. I think they were just kind of singing through some of the songs and then her coming home in tears. So I noticed the pain and it was like, it was a, it was really defeating, but initially I didn't really like want to do anything about it because I was so determined to get the role that I just straight up ignored it. I didn't tell anyone and I just ignored it and I kind of just suppressed it and acted like it wasn't there, even though it was and it was really bothering me. She was not gonna, you know, let something like this deter her from, you know, this being her dream. And this was, you know, her, one of her dreams was to have a lead role. When I first did tell the directors that there was something going on, it was like, let's look at the ifs, ands, and buts about what could happen here, what we would need to do if you can't sing if it hurts. The first thing that I wanted to do was emphasize um, vocal rest, which vocal rest doesn't mean not talking completely. You still need to talk and exercise the muscles. It's just like an athlete would um, lightly move around their muscles, like if they have a strained muscle or something. Make sure that it's staying active. We want to do that with the vocal cords. Pumping the brakes, I stopped singing. I had to stop. I had to go on a complete vocal rest at rehearsals. And it was just really difficult because I was in a lot of pain and I was surrounded by everybody in the fresh excitement of the show, getting to just like experience the songs and the story and get to have so much fun with it. And I was having to stop and I was having to sit there and listen to the, one of the directors sing my part for me. And it was just, it was really hard to just like stay positive and motivated when I couldn't do what I wanted to do. She was gonna do everything that it took to be successful. Um, you know, even there were a lot of tears and um, emotional swings back and forth. Um, she never gave up. So it was really inspiring. A lot of this came down to what she was comfortable with, just knowing that you, I did not, and, and Victoria Schmidt, the assistant director did not want to push her beyond her limits. So making the changes of on this day you sing, on this day you don't, or you're not going to sing for such and such amount of weeks and everyone else is going to accommodate for that. Um, and then always checking in, I would constantly check in with her, make sure everything was going well, um, and just made sure that kind of everyone in her life was aware of the situation to make sure that they could help out and she had a support system. You know, I felt like a lot of my closest friends, especially, and the directors were really on my side. They really wanted me to succeed. All of her family are so incredibly supportive. Um, me and my husband, Jolie's stepfather, and um, both of her sisters, um, her sister's friends, you know, become her friends. Um, you know, everybody that was in the cast. I just told her about like some of my experiences with like um, pushing yourself too far whenever you get something or get somewhere in your life. And then um, during the musical, um, there's not really much that I can do to help her with singing, but I know with dancing, I tried to be as light as I could. Having conversations with uh, parents and just doing what needed to be done to make sure that all of her support teams were together on the same page and wanted the best thing for her. My parents, my aunt, you know, everybody showed up and wanted to be here to support her. So 
I, I just think that that's going to help just prepare her for life, knowing that um, she's got a great group of support that's behind her. I think a lesson that Julie learned is to be more aware and learn her limits. And if it starts to hurt, you stop. I think number one, it's preparing her for, you know, future challenges that she's gonna face. Um, and for overachievers like her, um, I, I think it gave her some humbleness too, um, that you don't always get everything that you want in life and we have to work hard for it. Um, and I think that was a really great lesson that she learned. You need to speak up about it because not telling anyone and waiting until the last second is not gonna help you. It's, it's not, you need to, speak up, you need to go to the doctor when you can. It's scary, trust me, I cried about it so much because I did not want to go to the doctor because it was such a scary idea for me. I just, you have to talk to somebody, you have to tell people what's going on, and you have to get the help you can while you need because no matter what happens, it's all gonna be okay and it, it all works out. Like I thought it was the end of the world and it was just, it was really hard, but it really, it ended up being okay. And I'm really glad that it did. And like, just think about it as if it's a learning experience because everything really is. And like, it was so fun in the end because I came out successfully and everything was fine, but I really got to deal with my character in a way because she literally loses her voice. And that's literally what I was doing. I, I lost my voice almost, and it was just, it was really just a learning experience.